to another episode in my Strathmore Art Journal. I'm Bea from Bea Group Mixed Media and more. Hi all! Today I want to work with all those goodies here. I'm gonna work in my Strathmore Visual Art Journal. I want to do a transfer with a photo of myself. I'm gonna use the gel medium gloss. So let me get, make me some room and then I'll be back. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make it in the size I really want. Think something about it. I don't want all this stuff around here. Just decided I'm gonna grab my blue book so I can make a mess without cleaning too, having to clean too much. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna apply some. Actually, I still want less here. Set that aside to dry on some plastic. So while the gel medium is drying a bit, I'm gonna work on the background. So next I'm going to go in with some stencils and some really hot colors like a neon pink and a neon red and a deep orange. I really want it to pop and probably also some yellow. We'll see. So the first layer here is dry. I actually did use the heat gun to speed up the drying part a little bit. 
now I need to add a second layer. I did it the first time this way, now I'm gonna do it this way. Just make sure that you don't get the gel medium on the back side. Put it aside to dry again. I'm gonna clean up a little bit my mess and gonna dry everything and then I will be back. I thought I'd just step in real quickly to show you how, sorry about that, how I uh, dry my, <coughs> transfer my photocopy. It's by the way, it's a laser photocopy, so I usually go from the back side. So I also want to add some white in again and I'm um, simply using I'm not sure if it is Crafters Companion or, or the other brand I'm just not keeping track of those things It's a tool for me I either like a pattern or not So. So I just grab some and tap, tap it off on the, on the lid so I don't have too much. And because it is chest so it won't cover up the color completely, but it just gives a little hint of white. I'm not going for perfection. I just want some texture, visual texture, not a real texture. Sometimes I peek. So my head is dry <laughs> and the page is dry. If I could figure out where they put the gel, here it is. I'm gonna adhere my head to the page. I'm not sure when I want this side or this side or what I want. Does it get to look this? Just make sure that I have a big enough surface and glue everywhere and then already dried and now I'm adding a, th a third layer and I want to make sure that I have good contact so I'm using a roller again make sure that you don't have gel on the back side Yes, I'm going to use the heat tool again. Now, because there, it is between those two papers, I'm going to make sure that I also heat up from this side, so the gel in between the copy paper and the journal page paper has a chance to dry, or a better chance. But I don't make you watch that. So let's see how it works. I did dry it about 10 minutes with the blow, with the heat tool, and I just take the risk. So 
So I do spray it with water. And I have to say beforehand, transfers is always a little bit tricky thing. Sometimes it works pretty well, sometimes it doesn't at all. So we'll see what happens. And by the way, the thinner your paper is, the less you have to work, so don't go for the really heavy printer papers. I usually start with just a little bit of wetness and try to pull off layers of the paper first. It doesn't always work, but this time it seems to work again. Only a tiny bit of water, not too much. I'm somewhat firm, but not too much. Here uh, I'm gonna zoom you in. It's the wrong direction. Here I can lift it up because I didn't have gel medium underneath, so I have to be careful. But I don't care here.
it takes some time to do it completely, completely. I really want to get most of the white haze off, so... And sometimes when it is still wet, it's kind of hard to see. So what I actually gonna do now is I gonna use the heat tool and see how it looks, how it is when it is dry. Can you see how it turns into grey again? That means there is still paper in it on it. So I have to go on, add again some water and do more rubbing. That's how you can test whether you are ready or not. Sometimes you get an edge from the gel medium that rolled over the paper. I try to get rid of it of it just with pulling with the fingernail. Carefully of course. See it? Let's see, can I go? No. Okay, I have to lift it up. Hold on a second. See that the edge here? I want to get rid of that. That's what I had here too. So I'm gonna pull off this piece here with the fingernail. Quick, gonna heat dry it and see whether it is still gray areas or not. Yeah, I can see here it's still a little bit gray, and here, but here is okay, and maybe down the chin, so just a tiny bit. Get rid of the rest. You can can kind of feel it. You can feel it whether it is enough water or not. And you also can feel it when it is too much. If you just slide over it then it's probably too much water. But if it doesn't do anything at all you probably need a little bit more water. Still not happy here around and here. 
and I'm not so concerned about this area because there is a haze on it, I can't see it, but it doesn't bother me here. So, But I want the glasses and my eyes and the back here. Everything that is really black, I want to see black. myself <laughs> kind of weird <laughs> and um, then I'm gonna add a quote I'm probably gonna add also some more embellishment So my next step is my quote and I usually write it down on a scrap piece of paper otherwise I make mistakes. <laughs> there are still paper bits everywhere. Okay, so let's see. I want the B and the U really big. And I have to draw lines, otherwise I can't do it. I know you can't see the lines, but uh, they are there.
I do use the Bar Hyrule ink, um, stays on black would work too, any ink you like to work. I just want to tie in the black a bit. Something here. I think I'm gonna go for some stamping with uh, text. <laughs> 